seems like getting chess wrong is a trend in movies. And whenever chess is seen on the big screen, it almost always has a mistake, whether in the setup of the board or the moves themselves, or even having one of the most important pieces missing altogether. And yes, this even happens in movies about chess. I mean, at least this should get it right. Imagine you're watching a movie and you see a basketball game with four players inside of five on each team. And they are using a football instead of basketball. And the net is a soccer goal. You'd be pretty upset seeing how they butchered the sport. But most importantly, you'd wonder how they even got it wrong when so much information and reference is available online with a simple Google search. Especially with movies, they got the money to hire an expert to consult on these scenes. In this video, we'll be talking about the times movies got just wrong. There are countless amount of times this happened, but I personally picked few of the best examples to talk about. And starting with most people's favorite movie chess scene and Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I'm sorry Potterheads, I'm gonna have to do this. This chess game is one of the most accurate chess games portrayed in movies, and many chess experts highly praise the depiction of chess mixed with the emotion aspect of the scene. Every move was right, and they even got the position right at the start. However, there is a mistake right at the end that many people might have missed. The queen was ready to end Harry's life on A3, but Ron chose to sacrifice himself instead of his friend. He decides to move himself, being the knight, to H3, checking White's king in the process. White has only one move, which is capturing the knight on H3 and knocking Ron over. But this move was needed and it was a brilliant sacrifice, as it freed the C5 square. Harry notices the winning move and moves his bishop to C5, but here is where the mistake happened. Harry says checkmate, and the game ends. However, White still has one legal move left to play, which is queen E3. Of course, this doesn't stop the checkmate, and the bishop recapturing the queen would lead to an eventual checkmate. However, they did end it one move too early. The reason I'm sure this is a mistake and not a deliberate quick ending is because throughout the game, White's queen was shown as the main villain. So having Harry destroyed the queen before delivering a checkmate would have been a powerful scene, but the writers and producers might have missed it. But hey, at least the board was set up right, because in Hollywood, setting up the chess board wrong is a common mistake that almost always happens. I mean, it takes two seconds to Google the correct position and just replicate it. In Austin Powers, the spy who shagged me, Austin Powers was playing a game against Ivana. And right from the first shot of the game, you can see that the board is set up the wrong way. A real chess setup looks like this. Notice something? In the movie, White's left pawn is on a light square, but should be on a dark square. And same thing with the black pieces. It looks like the board is flipped and all the colors are mismatched. But the position isn't the only mistake. Another brutal mistake happens right after the second move. Ivana moves her pawn to e4. A normal opening move, but Austin here also moves his knight to e4 capturing the pawn, which is well impossible since the knight's only two legal moves at the start are either f6 or h6. The game quickly ends though and turns into well, this. But this probably was an honest mistake. What isn't an honest mistake however is how chess was played in an episode of season 5 of The Office between Creed and Jim. The entire office is upset with Michael Scott for favoring some employees over others. While there is drama in the office, Jim and Creed decided to pass the time playing chess. It's Jim's move and Creed is not being very helpful. But if you look closely to the board, this is the position you get. I'll give you one second to notice the three mistakes in this position. Time's up. If you didn't catch it, I'll help you. The first mistake is the obvious bishops on white's side. They are both light squared bishops. Now unless Jim was able to lose the bishop, get one of his pawns to create side and promoting it to a new light squared bishop, this is impossible. And not only that, the second mistake is on Creed's side with him also having two dark squared bishops. The position looks like it's just at the start of the game, so having two pawn promotions and both of them being bishops is quite impossible. And the third mistake is a bit of an advanced one, and this is the double pawns on the A5 this early in the game with no clear reason why. Studying the position for a brief second, and it is clear that this would have been impossible to happen and the double pawns on the A file is just a mistake in the setup of the board for this scene. Now you might argue the fact that hey rook moves, you're being too harsh. These movies are not about chess and they don't care about chess. They probably just set the board up randomly and don't even think about it because the scene is much more important. But what about having mistakes in a movie about chess? Yeah, now I got your attention. At the movie searching for Bobby Fischer, inspired by the life of chess prodigy Bobby Fischer, the final game of the movie is an intense battle between Josh, the main character, and Jonathan Poe. This was a great scene to wrap up the movie, and the chess part of it, whether the actual moves or the position of the board, is very accurate and is an actual chess game. But the mistake lies in the game itself. Notice how players are making their moves without noting them down on a sheet. This is something that would never happen in a rated tournament. Keeping a score sheet and writing down your moves gives the arbiter a way to go back on the positions and review certain moves in case an illegal move has been played, or 
if a player complained about something. Without a score sheet, there is no way the arbiter can verify any claim a player might do. Did they remove the keeping a sheet part in order to keep the intensity and dramatic feel of the movie alive and not having players break tension by writing down moves? Yes, they did. They might have done it for this exact reason. But this doesn't make it right and it's still a mistake. They could have at least shown the sheets next to them or have other characters note down the moves on their behalf. Although this might have been an honest mistake in favor of drama, this next mistake is just pure negligence. In the movie Star Trek, Mr. Spock and Mr. Shatner are seen playing a variant of chess called three-dimensional chess. Now I'm not gonna waste time and explain how it works. It's quite complicated and if you're interested, you can just google it. However, this variant still follows the basic rules of chess, where a player wins after checkmating his opponent's king. Spock plays his move and says check. Everything is still normal here. And Mr. Shatner's next move should be either to block the check or move his king. Checkmate. I'm sure you see where the mistake is. Mr. Shatner here totally disregards Spock's check and just moves a whole different piece and delivers a checkmate himself instead of getting out of the check. This is well impossible as I mentioned before. It is an illegal move and cannot happen in a regular game of chess. Sorry to bother you Star Trek fans, but the movie made a huge fail here. Your illogical approach to chess does have its advantages on occasion, Captain. While filming on set, it can get pretty hectic. Actors moving around, furniture moving around and the crew can accidentally knock the chessboard over and just not know how to put it back in the correct way, which may lead to many mistakes in filming. However, in animated film, it's a different case and portraying chess in the correct way is even easier. But not to the Aladdin producers. The movie Aladdin had a chess scene with the carpet playing chess against the genie. Here comes the first mistake though. The board is 7 squares by 7 instead of the actual 8 by 8. Other than the board's wrong size, the position is actually wrong. And wait. I think there is a piece missing. Yes, the most important piece in chess. The king is nowhere to be found for the white pieces on the chessboard. Which would be impossible in chess as the kings are never taken off the board. Animated or not, it's a mistake that could have been easily prevented. Should have wished for his chess skills instead. The genie is right there. Now we talked about how the most common mistakes that happen in chess and movies is actually setting up the positions. Chess is commonly seen in the background of a lot of scenes and movies, mainly in the office of characters they want to portray as smart or just put the chessboard in the background for aesthetic reasons. Now because the board is just not a crucial part of the scene, the crew just doesn't care how correct the setup is and almost always puts it in the wrong way. As you can see in this scene in Captain America Civil War, the board is set up wrong. If you notice the white square on the back left corner, this should actually be a black square. This mistake also happened in the X-Men movies. Chess is seen quite a few times throughout the X-Men movies. This leads to more and more room for mistakes, and in fact, mistakes are there. In the X-Men 2 movies, if you look closely, the king and queen are set up in the wrong positions. In a normal chess setup, the queen is always on a square similar to its color. White queen on the white square, and black queen on the black square. But in this scene, it looks like the white queen is on a dark square. Although the position of the queen is correct, this mistake happened because the whole board is flipped and oriented in the wrong position. Because as you can see, Black's A pawn is on a white square but should be on a dark square so the whole board is flipped. The same mistake is repeated in this scene in the movie X-Pan, The Last Stand. The board is flipped and the pieces are on the wrong color square. The X-Men movies are filled with chess scenes so if I look even more, I'm sure many more wrong positions can be found. And finally we have The Simpsons. Magnus Carlsen actually made a special appearance in episode 1 teaching Homer Simpson how to play chess. So you would think the producers actually somewhat care about the game to get the chess part right. But in fact, they didn't. In this scene, you can see Bart playing multiple people in the park. And the board position is clearly wrong and once again, the white square on the right for black should be a dark square. So the whole board is flipped. But what they did get right though is Bart losing all of the games, because if you're a regular kid and not some genius chess prodigy, you will most likely lose all of the games if you played against 5 opponents at the same time. There are countless more times where the chessboard is positioned in the wrong way in movies. Hollywood just seems to have a thing to piss off chess players. And if I state all the mistakes, this video would be 12 hours long. But I'm gonna leave you with these right now. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to go and check other videos as well. And don't forget to subscribe.